question that we get on a daily basis here at Santan Solar. The question is, what do I need to get to have solar on my RV or off-grid home installation? And so we've created this display board that kind of displays the different components that you'll need for that. And it'll help explain. Two of the biggest components that we have, not on the board, it's part of that kit, is the solar panel, obviously, and a battery. And so you need a few components to get the power from the panel to your battery bank and then to whatever you're going to be using it for. So there's a few components that you need to get the energy from the panel to your battery bank and then to whatever you're going to be using it with. And so the biggest component in between those things is the charge controller. And so what that does is manages the voltage and amps going from the panel into your battery and then into the inverter. And so here, this is a specifically an MPPT charge controller, and you typically get 20 to 30% more power from an MPPT controller versus a PWM. So that, that's just something to be mindful of when you're shopping and looking for a charge controller. Between that, between the panel and the controller, there's a few components that you'll need. Obviously, you'll need some uh, PV wire to get you from the panel to that controller. So this is just an extension. These have MC4 connectors on them. Those are fairly standard uh, in solar installations. Between that, we have a fuse. This is called an inline fuse. And so this is just adds an added layer of protection to your system. Here we have a parallel adapter. So this is if you're using multiple panels. It helps manages and balances out the, the voltage and amps in your system. And then here is another extension cable down your charge controller. This is a battery cable and that will get you from the controller to your battery. And some a few of the other components that, that you can add to the system. You can have a Wi-Fi adapter. And so this allows you to access the readout from the controller on your phone. Um, and this is also a wired meter. A lot of times when you're doing an install, you're not able to get the controller in an accessible area. And so you may need a, you may need a remote meter to be able to, to access and make changes, change different settings, things like that. Another component that you'll need in the system is a circuit breaker. You put this between the controller and your battery bank. Again, just an added layer of protection for you in your, uh, your, in your system. And on this board, we have a few other items. We have the, the mounting brackets. This is just one mounting solution that's available. Fairly inexpensive, uh, easy to install. So those have been fairly popular for us. Um, we also have a, a waterproof junction box. So this is something you'll install. Uh, for example, if you're putting it on your RV travel trailer. This is something you'll just have on top. You'll feed the wires through and then you can you can do a seal around it to, to waterproof the, the install. Also have a bus bar that you can use in conjunction with a, a battery that will help, help you wire everything together. Once you have your controller hooked up to your battery, you can access the power from your battery by using an inverter. Your battery stores energy in DC power. Most standard appliances and things you're gonna be using require AC, and so you will use an inverter which will convert that DC power to AC. Also part of this board, we have a few schematics here that explain how to hook up different solar kits. Uh, this particular one's for a, a two panel kit. We have a three panel kit and a four panel kit. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. As always, we have these components available on our website, santansolar.com, the one-stop shop for all your solar needs.